my name is Zoe and this is my April reading wrap up. Um, if you are new to this channel, say hi. Um, I mainly just do reading related videos on this channel, book related videos. So I successfully read four physical books and three ebooks. So a couple were net galley ones or ones that were asked by reviewers to do so yeah for that, that was, some of them were hit and miss so yeah um but i started off the month finishing off otley Cotler and the narrowway hunt which is book one of the I can't remember what the series is called i think they've got it's called the narrowway trilogy so this is by Rihanna Williams, an Australian author. Um, enjoyed it. It was good fun. It was not a five star read. I would say it's probably a four star read, possibly three and a half stars. Um, enjoyed it. So if you're looking for an enjoyable middle grade book, I recommend this book. It was good fun. Um, and from what I remember the story, Otley, I think it's that lady there, her brother goes disappears and so she goes looking for him in this underground swampy cave world thing and so yeah it's good fun though yeah and then I also read What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty who's another Australian author who's very popular around the world and I've never ever ever read a Leanne Moriarty novel before um I enjoyed it i'll probably give it three and a half stars it's easy read there was quite a lot of humor in it and it's set in sydney so it was sort of like i kind of knew where things were even though it was a fictional story um but it's all about alice who was at a gym and fell over and hit her head and forgot 10 years of her life the last 10 years so it's all about her trying to put the pieces back together and so yeah it was quite funny but also quite confronting at the same time so highly read if you want to if you haven't read this Leanne Moriarty book look at read it if you're a fan of hers so yeah yeah then I continued reading the third book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy Ruin and Rising by the Bardugo. Um, I enjoyed it. Overall, I enjoyed the series. I'd probably give it three and a half, maybe four stars overall. I enjoyed book three more than book two. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying it, the Grishaverse, and I will eventually get a copy of Six of Crows duology to see what that one's like and yeah but no I enjoyed I enjoyed it yeah and then I read two um book two of the Witchland series by Suzanne Dennard so I ended up reading Wind Witch which continues on from Truth Witch um enjoying this series I think I enjoyed book two more than book three and that's mainly because I got more a sense of Suzanne Dennard's writing and her very quick paced fantasy writing. You, you go from one thing to another very quickly and so I highly enjoyed this book um, and yeah looking forward to continuing this series um, yeah and so that's my reading wrap up so if you like this video like it subscribe to this channel if you haven't and I'm mainly, my next video will probably be um, looking at doing a try chapter tag. It's probably going to be my next video. So that should be up in another week. So I'll see you all then.